Hi everyone, Dave Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week two of our Goodwood Street project in Richmond. It's actually only Wednesday and um, the boys have done amazingly well. It's actually the week before Christmas and um, we've um, completed everything ready for plaster ahead of schedule. So let's get into it quickly. Um, you can see here now all the plumbing roughings completed. So tapping onto the existing copper pipe work here, we've had to put a bend in the plumbing just to get up to the right height so that back to wall toilet can go in. So we've built this little frame, which will end up being a really nice little tiled ledge once it's all finished. Um, and the, the vanity cabinet will push up hard against the edge of that and it will just look seamless. It's built to the right height, the same height as the vanity will be. You can see here the new water lines. Now what we did, we replaced the entire water lines, hot and cold, inside the entire unit. And we've also actually put um, a new valve in the mains water for the house as well. Um, we've relocated the hot water system to be downstairs, so it's out of the bathroom and all looking good. So over on this side here, you can see now the shower base and the shower. There's a ledge built there that goes all the way across the shower. So we can see our mixer is in the wall there and then also um, our shower head there up above it, um, which looks really good as well. We've come through with the hot and cold water pipes as close to the wall as we can. Obviously there's that strip grate drain system here. Um, so obviously, um, we couldn't go back any further, and that makes um, all the difference with our bulkhead that we'll have to build downstairs to hide the plumbing and waste pipes. We've really moved them back so it looks as less invasive as possible to downstairs. Um, but yeah, so there's that ledge across the back now, all the way across the wall, and that looks really good. Our electricians are finished, so I mentioned that into the in the previous video, um, which I only did a few days ago, actually. Um, so that's all done. Um, our fan is now in place as well and all connected to ducting and everything. Uh, the sliding cavity door is now in place and you can see the door that slides inside the wall there. We've reframed that, that's a 90 mil wall. Uh, on this side here, you can see the door jam is all on. Um, we've back blocked here for everything. You can see our new switch wires and all that. That's all there. And you can also see the hob that we've built this floor has fall, so it all falls to that strip grate, which I'll custom make when the tiling's done. We put all flashing in behind everything for waterproofing um, purposes. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how it's come up. So we basically framed this entire wall, 35 mil, just to make it all work. Um, and it will be beautiful once it's all done. Um, so that's it in here. You can see the tile underlay is down as well. So this was a whole new floor. Um, 22 mil board and um, and then tile underlay as well. Now we haven't um, got to screwing down these floors in here. Um, we've replaced a few beams downstairs, but it's a difficult one because even the sheets go this way, um, which is in line with the uh, with the beams downstairs or the the floor joists. Really, you're supposed to go across the beam, so they're actually installed wrong. So we're doing everything that we can. Um, to help the client move, remove the, 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 the movement in the floor, but um, there's not much more we can do. So up above that, um, that wardrobe, you can see we've blocked in there. We're just gonna put a bit of timber quad below that to cover where the plaster was. Um, today, uh, our glass company was here. They've measured the mirror on the robe doors to be done. So these two doors will get picked up. They'll have mirrors installed on them. We've also had him measure the front security door, which will be like a crim safe door. Um, so that's all been measured. Um, the big uh, fly screen downstairs out the back, that's been measured to be replaced as well. So that's all in production uh, and underway. So you can see here the framing the boys have done. Amazing work and it's really straight, looks good. Um, so uh, moving into the back bedroom, um, what we've done here is we've framed that brick wall and that's to match up to the top bricks. So once it's all plastered, it'll look seamless. We've got a, a, a wire there for the TV point once the TV goes in. Uh, we've deleted the old um, 
uh, aerial points as uh, the client requested. We've actually got all of that, um, that ducting for the aircon downstairs hidden in the wall now. We've replaced the beam in the roof, actually two of them. I think that was in the previous video as well. And um, we're ready now for plastering uh, early next year. So also um, we've stripped the stairs as best we can. And um, uh, the, the stair work will get done uh, as required next year. We've, we've exposed it a lot. You can see that you know all underneath the stairs have been removed, but the treads and everything themselves, that'll get done next year. We needed it this year for traffic up and down the stairs. Um, in the kitchen, uh, so this is where we've relocated the hot water system to. It's all running on its own 40 amp circuit now. Um, all of the switchboard has been updated to meet regulations and it's all actually current and looking really good. Um, you can see here that's the water pressure um, valve there on that cold and obviously this is where the hot and cold, the, the brand new water lines start from. They run in and around, they service the kitchen. So this is the kitchen, we've actually even back blocked behind the, the kitchen sink there, just 20 mil just so that it's straight and we can get our pipe work in the wall. And then on this side, we actually frame that wall out behind where the kitchen's going so we can get all our services in there too. Um, <coughs> so one of the biggest things that we've done is we've made sure that all of this pipe work is back as close to the, the wall as possible. So obviously we needed to get a bend in, so it's only as wide as this end bend and then the water pipes all run in in line with that, not too far uh, within that. <clears throat> and then they go up into the, the uh, closest area we could upstairs. So that was an important thing to the client. So that makes a, a much smaller little bulkhead that we'll have to make, um, rather than it coming through the old holes here that you can see where it used to run, it's a long way back closer to the wall, especially once you get everything done down here, um, it'll look so much better. Um, so on this side here, we've just basically um, made sure that um, the, uh, the, uh, the heater and everything's okay. We've disconnected all of the fox cell and the aerial as discussed. Uh, and um, yeah, basically just made sure that we're ready for the kitchen to be um, plastered. We've got all our power points. So one there for the pantry, one there for the fridge. There's a water point there now for the fridge. Uh, we've got LED strip lights, the little black wires. We've got uh, a power point for the range hood up top and then one, two, three lights below on the kitchen bench top. And then obviously our wiring in for the oven under, underneath as well. So, um, great work done by the boys. Um, there's still things like this that we need to fix, uh, but that'll all get done in the new year. This is the screen that was measured today, the fly screen. Um, and um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. We've cleaned up as best we can for the end of the year. Um, no need to clean any more at this point in time. But um, I'm really excited for the client. She's been amazing to work with, and um, I hope that she's excited. One of the things that we've done for her just to finish is um, is this wall, we pulled all the plaster. This morning the boys ground or grinded all of the old plaster off it. Um, and so that way we can fix this wall and it'll be textured brick like she really wanted from us in the beginning. And so that's a bit of a, bit of a, a feature wall that she really wanted and she is going to get it. So really proud of my guys for what they've done for her. Okay. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's to everyone. That's a wrap for 2023. Thanks for watching.